Hey, I'm John Sullivan, 2019 Grand Marshal of the St. Patrick's Day Parade. And we're here at the Irish Cultural Center today because I've got cancer and I want to thank a lot of people. First of all, I want to thank the Irish Cultural Center for having the GoFundMe page. I never in my life thought I would need a hand from anybody, but I did. And you folks came out, uh, people that I haven't heard from in 50 years that I played football in high school with sent donations. Uh, old Whitesboro classmates sent donations. Uh, I don't know who Anonymous is, but man, he sent a lot, you know. Uh, so I'm here today to thank all of you folks for doing this for me and my beautiful wife, Debbie. And uh, I love this building. There's two things that I learned in 2020. And I think that if uh, I was talking personally to you and asked you what you thought of the year 2020, you'd say something like, I'm looking forward to 2021. It was the worst year of my life. But this, without a doubt, was the most blessed time of my life this year. I've always felt that God was walking with me. Uh, when we finished this building, it's no secret, I didn't get the money that I earned. But with that, when I was told that I wasn't going to get that money, I looked at a picture of Jesus Christ on my bedroom wall and I said, Dear God, I've got to do two things. I've got to put a lien on that building and I have to forgive this man. And I have forgiven him. And God walked with me all the way through this. We got a wonderful job out in Oneida that brought me a long ways out of the hole. Then the state came in. COVID was here. Couldn't build any more buildings. There's too much of a chance for COVID to run rampant. That made sense. We found another job, a good job. We found another one after that, and we dug ourselves out of a hole. <clears throat> then I was up on a scaffold, and my wife called me. She had me, she thought I was losing too much weight, and she had me have a physical. And I don't think I've ever had a physical in my whole life, but I suggest when you get in the 60s, you should have a physical. And she said to me, how are you feeling? And I says, I'm great. The doctor told me I'm doing good. She says he didn't have the PSA number. I had no idea what that was. And I said, what, what's a PSA number? And she says, well, it's, you've got cancer. And I says, well, what's the number at? And she said, 222. And I said to her, well, what's it supposed to be? And she said, four. I talked to her a few minutes more. And I said, look, I'm working. I got to get going here. I've got to do what I got to do here. I'll talk to you tonight about all this. And I looked up at Deerfield Hill. And if you know me, for 35 years, I've been practicing my faith, trying to grow every day. I'm an Irish Catholic, and I thank God for my mother and father instilling that in me. I didn't live it when I was a young man, and a teenager certainly not. But now I got it. Without God, you can accomplish nothing. And God's hand was in this building here. It was a big task. Difficult moments at times, but it ended up being a joyful place. I forgave the man, like I said, didn't want to pay me the money. And I'm asking all of you people to forgive him if you have any grudge against him. Because this place will never get off the ground without your help. I hope you come as soon as this COVID's over and they're open seven days a week or six days a week, whatever it is. I hope to be here and see you and thank you personally for it. So, I offer my cross up, my little cross, to Jesus. I united it to his big cross. I gave him my cancer, and I wanted him to have people invite him into the center of their lives, and that's what I asked for. Whatever your will is, God, with this cancer, I want you to be in the center of everybody's life. And I offer this cancer to you. And I will go by your divine will, whichever way it goes, whether I die or whether I live. I praise God Almighty. Those are the only two choices. But through your help, 
I believe with all of my heart for your donations and your prayers that I, I just can't get over it. I have been humbled. So there's two things I learned this year. To forgive, and if you're Irish, it's hard to be humble at times. But now I'm humble. I thank you so much for doing this for me, and I can't get over it. <clears throat> what I'm hoping for is to keep on going. I have a strong hope that I will be cured of this disease, but it's not the end of the world if it isn't. <coughs> because I've lived my life in the last 35 years trying to grow my faith every day. Like I said, I hope all you people will come here. We work hard. It's a beautiful building, gorgeous building, and I don't regret doing it. Uh, as a matter of fact, I come in here when we first opened here, and uh, people everywhere were happy about it. Now I ask you, please, learn a little humility. I know there's many of you out there that love me, that don't ever want to come into this building again. Don't do that. It's not their fault. We'll go on. This man right here is my father. This picture behind me, it's a story. It hangs on a wall over by the courtyard over there. This is a man that I watched all of my life that tried to talk to me. Simple little things he would say that I didn't understand. It never cost a nickel to say hello, Johnny, he used to say to me. And to tell you the truth, I listened to that for about 10 years, and finally I said, Dad, what the hell are you talking about? And he says, you can see some poor bugger coming down the road towards you, and you have a choice. You can say hello to him, or you can put your head down and ignore him. And he says, if you say hello to him, you might save his life. Now, as a teenager, I says, how's that going to save his life? He says, that man could be so lonely that nobody has ever spoke to him in weeks or months. And he says, and you're hello could mean that he isn't going to throw himself in front of a bus as you walk by. Folks, life is too short. It's only a short journey here. We've got way too much hate going on in the world. You can see it every night on TV, or if you go on the internet, you can see what's happening to this country. What I have found through forgiveness and humility, which this building is responsible for, this was the path that God set for me to have humility and to forgive. Life is way too short to hate. And you can never, ever, ever have peace in your heart and be at ease unless you have forgiveness and humility. So my friends, I say to you, I love you all. I thank you. I wish my wife Debbie was here, the queen of my heart, I call her. The greatest thing that ever happened to me. We're going to get through this, not just because we're strong and we have faith in God, but because of your prayers and your donations. I can't tell you how much it touches my heart. I hope to see every one of you someday so that I can thank you personally. God bless you all. Show up at the Irish Cultural Center. When they get ready to rock and roll here, you come in and have a good time. God bless you all.